What's going on guys? Today we are back out. Hopefully gonna film another video today. We get a ton of requests for crappie videos and it's just been kind of too cold, but today I said screw it and we're out here. We're gonna be chasing crappies. Now, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Since it is so cold out, we're breaking out the ice rod. We'll just be using an ice rod for today's video. This is the old Elliott noodle rod here. And uh, we're rigging that up with the Acme Google Eye tungsten there in the five mil size, bigger profile, something I can shoot down there real quick. And then we're just putting a little plastic on there. And, but basically the principle is, um, we're hopefully gonna be shooting these fish right off the sonar out in base and kind of show you guys what I'm seeing and uh, catch a whole bunch of crappies on a jig rod. We're gonna talk about location and uh, basically kind of the spring progression and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna hopefully keep a few crappies today and hopefully catch a whole bunch more crappies. So stay tuned. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta find some fish. Next thing we gotta do is catch them and uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so right now we're kind of driving over one of these basin areas and what I wanna see is stacks of fish. Now most of the time what these are gonna look like is all of a sudden you're just gonna see red line, red line, red line. And most of the time they're gonna be way up off the bottom. You're not looking for these fish necessarily most of the time on the bottom. We wanna be seeing these fish way up, you know, 10, maybe 10 feet down uh, to like 20 feet down, you know. Okay, so right here you can see we got some fish on the bottom. That's not really what I'm looking for right there. Are they fish? Yes, but uh, most time, a lot of times the one closer to the bottom will be smaller, number one. Number two, they'll be much less aggressive. You can see all those little black dashes on my screen. That's just kind of because I got my sensitivity cranked so high right now, so you guys can hopefully see my jig and the fish a little bit better when I start fishing for them. We're just kind of driving around. You know, most time it's not just gonna be like solid fish coating the whole, this whole basin. This is kind of a larger basin here, uh, but I'm sure soon we'll probably see some. A lot of times it just kind of takes a little bit driving around. So here, these black marks you're seeing right here are what we want to see. Those are just fish that are just off the side. So if I turn my side imaging right on now, you'd probably see a school of fish off the left or right. But when you're right on top of them, they're going to look a little bit different than that. And I'll hopefully be able to show you here shortly. It looks decent though. I mean, you can definitely tell that there's fish around. We're just not seeing kind of like that high flying school yet is what we really, really want to see. All right, right there. That is exactly what we're looking for. You can see they are just thick down there. And uh, you know, those are the kind of red marks that we want to see. I'll kind of zoom in on so you guys can see it a little bit better. There is what we're looking for. That's that big stack of fish. And uh, they are kind of coating the bottom, but it's, it's probably 25 feet there and those fish are down about 19. So that's exactly what we want to see. Next thing I'm going to do is get rigged up and uh, hopefully drop some baits on some fish and catch them. Stay tuned. Yeah, you're just fine. You're just fine. Wh what? You're just fine. It's warmer than it is most days. Right there is what we want to see. I'm going to spot lock down on them. All right, so this is not going to take long. You can see my jig going down. They're going to start coming up here at any second. Come on up and bite. Come on, come on. And we're hooked up. Right away, I'm also tangled in the prop somehow, but I'm not super concerned about that because I'm in neutral. Unless it becomes an issue, then I will be concerned about it. All right, now I'm concerned about it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> First drop of the day, fish on. I used to fish it for crappies, open water. That is too awesome. I am gonna keep a few crappies today. I'm gonna keep probably about five of them, but that's a nice one there. About an 11 incher to start on the google eye and just a little plastic on there on the ice rod too much fun we're gonna do it again all right here's a big stack gonna back up on them once the sonar kind of clears you're gonna see them again what you're probably gonna hopefully see is my jig falling straight down into them yeah, there you can see the jig. I'm just gonna pound it in place right there. And we're hooked up. Fish on, Surly. I don't think it's super big. 
Actually, it might not be too bad. Look at that. A little crappie there. Glare is probably horrible because I'm in the wrong direction here. But as I'm unhooking this fish, I'm going to keep kind of backing up over this pod. See if I can get another one. You should be able to see my jig a little bit better falling this time. So there's obviously my jig going down. And right when it gets to the top of that stack, I'm going to pause it. Just kind of pound it in place and it will not take very long. Pound it right there. Just like you would ice fishing and we are hooked up again. Another one on, Surly. We are catching them now. Probably a little bit more decent fish here. Oh yeah, that one's gonna keep for sure. All right, big pot of fish on the screen. We're spot locked, we're dropping down. Should be able to see my jig. Just need the fish to stay there. All right, we are in the zone. Fish are coming up, shouldn't be too long. Oh yeah, we got them. Hooked up. Feels like a decent crappie here on the ice drop. Look at that one, Surly. Another one. <laughs> they are so rambunctious, you know. A lot of times late ice is the best time to be out on the ice for super aggressive panfish. And pretty much the same thing holds true um, into April when they're still out here in the basin. It's a good little eater there. And they're still down there, so I'm just gonna let that one on the floor. Going right back down here. Most of the time they don't even stay there for really for two drops. All right, you can kind of see me just kind of starting to get into them here. All right. And we're hooked up immediately. They are super aggressive right now. I can't, basically I'm just close, I can't even close the bale half the time and they're already, they're already on the bait. Too cool, they're still literally sitting there. We got crappies flopping on the floor. Watch out, Surly, you are in the worst spot you could possibly be in here. All right, so we're dropping down. You can see the jig going back down here. I'm already getting close to the fish. All right, I'm real close to the fish now. And I think my line stopped because I've probably, no, I don't have one on yet. I'm just gonna sit there and bounce it. I can't even find my jig right now because there's so many fish around. Something's gonna bite. Something's gonna bite here. Where is my jig? Okay, I'm way up on top of the fish right now. Sit. Oh my gosh, just throttled. <laughs> oh, I lost him, I lost him. You can see the crappie going back down. All right, so there's my jig going back down into the school here. Sit there, gonna bounce it right on top. There's definitely some movement happening. There's definitely some fish looking. All right, we got big upward. There we go, Surly, hooked up. Oh my gosh, I keep losing them. All right, we're dropping back down. You can see there's just all sorts of goodness going on down there. Should be able to see my jig here in a second. All right, there's the jig going down. There's already fish kind of sort of coming up. Stop it right there. Bouncing it in place, bouncing it, bouncing it. And we're hooked up. Fish on. Look at that, Surly. Catching them on the ice rod. Too cool. Another decent crappie there. And I think that is gonna be enough to round out the amount of fish I wanna keep. You can see just out of that little, quick little amount of fishing there. And uh, just out of that one school, I was able to pluck three. I think I actually got six in here, which is gonna be plenty for me to eat tonight. All right, so spring crappie location, where are we finding these fish? Well, the water is still very, very cold up here in Northern Wisconsin. The ice just went out like less than a week ago. These fish are still in their wintering holes, right? A lot of us associate spring crappies with up in the trees or up in the pencil reeds. None of that's happening right now up here. It's just too cold. We got water temps in the low 40s. And uh, a lot of times you start seeing fish up in that those trees when it starts getting 50 and above. You know, those bright sunny days obviously drive that, but we just have not had those days and had warmth. So these fish are out in the and now where we're looking for these fish it's pretty easy you know a lot of our deepest holes in this lake are like 25 35 feet deep or somewhere right in there so I'm taking my hummingbird highlight 
and I'm basically highlighting everything from 25 to 35, these deeper holes. And then all I'm doing is just driving around with sonar. Same, a lot of these spots are the same ones I was catching them on the ice and I kind of know kind of sort of where they are. And I'm looking for those tall stack of crappies, something that looks like this here. So it's pretty easy, you know, if you guys have a lake that sets up like this, we have some of these deeper wintering holes or go out to your favorite hole hop and late ice crappie spot and uh, those fish are still probably there. So um, that's kind of what we're looking for, you know, set, th set those hummingbird highlights, start driving around with side imaging and sonar on. And you guys are gonna see those schools of fish. All right, here's a stack of fish. Wait till they turn red, pretty much right there. Dropping down on them. All right, gotta wait till the jig. I kinda got a weird wind angle here. You can see that jig really good, which is good. You're probably gonna be able to watch a fish come up and bite it. Oh my gosh, I just got, there he is. Oh, oh. Fish on, feels like a good crappie. Look at that, too cool. Just pounding them with the old ice rod. Absolutely too much fun. Well, that is gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've probably only been out here for about an hour, but it is cold and surly is cold and the sun is going down. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catching crappies in the spring is always a ton of fun, especially if you're doing it on an ice rod. I don't know why that was so addicting, but I probably will have to come back out here and do it again because it was a lot of fun. And um, I guess it's gonna be a few weeks yet before we get fish pushing up into the trees, but that's always a fun deal too. And we'll definitely be showcasing some of that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe, stay tuned for what we're doing next. I have no idea what we're filming tomorrow or the next day or the next day. I'm just kind of making it up as we go. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for next time.